Well, guys, this is a little bit of a bittersweet ride. This is my last ride on the KLR. Did something I thought I'd never do. Well, someone actually came and uh, paid me what I wanted for it. I listened last year and got tired of dealing with the people just wanting to trade and the low ballers and said, nah, I said, I'd rather just have the cash, maybe a truck. And, uh, Someone came. Bike's been sitting for a little over a month. Mainly because of the weather and when I did ride, I rode the other bike, so. I listed it, figured. We'll list it again, see what bites. And if I get no serious offers, then, you know, I just, Anyway, guy came, he seemed super interested in it. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna leave him the, the go cruise too. It's his first bike. Say so he's used to riding dirt bikes. I kind of hope he backs off the plans he wants to do to it and just rides it and enjoys it put some street put some just regular road going tires on it because you can get them touring tires and uh, just enjoy it Tried to lube on me a little bit at first. I said, nah. And he told me, he said, well, I really don't want the ammo cans. I said, uh, I said, dude, I said, that's kind of a package deal. I said, could he tell you, you can keep the crash bars and the, and the racks. And I said, dude, that stuff's a chore to take off. And I said, I don't know where half of the original bolts are. To replace because a lot of this stuff all gets new a lot, a lot of this stuff all got new hardware i said it comes with it man i said if you want to if you want to source the oem hardware take it back to to not having this stuff on it go ahead but i'm not doing it don't know how long the video will last how long this camera or battery will hold out because I think my other full battery is still in the BMW. I thought I didn't take them, but I did. I did take them one Sunday, but yeah, kind of bittersweet. The guy asked me after a couple hours after you left. He kind of said, "Hey," he said, "I'll give you this if you if you bring it if you if you ride it over to me." I said, "Well, can you bring me home?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "Well, I can do that." So, we'll see what he says. If he tries to back out, take me home. I'll just say, I'll just, I'm just taking, I'm taking the bike back home, dude. Deal's off. if you could bring me home. He said, yeah, now you're wanting to change the deal. So he basically told me tough shit if I'm on my way home. Nah, dude, don't work that way. So she's a bittersweet ride.
she's treating me well. Had some ups, had some downs. Mainly after the first year with her, she lost spark at the end of the, you know. But she hasn't given me any problems since then. So. So, this one's easier to put in and out of gear, so BMW sometimes likes to fight. So now the question is, what do I replace her with? I'm thinking maybe V Strong. I'm thinking maybe V Strong 1000. Something that's a little more highway capable and still fire road capable. Or however, however I may brave. Something similar to the performance. Or at least I don't might just do a truck, dude. I, I really don't know. She enjoys her. I hope he enjoys her. You'd be good for a cloud chaser. You'd be good for this guy. Try to show him what you're built for. So that he understands and make and maybe keep you this way. I think once he starts riding you and he'll understand. I still got unfinished plans to do to you, but it's probably good that you go now instead of when you're completely done, because then I'd really be hard pressed to let you go. So you'd be good to That's why she's still pulling 74 here. Yeah, fifth gear is pretty much fucking overdrive, but the sprocket set up the way it is. on this 
tank, so he's got some, he can still play it for a little bit when the tank is in 